Distinction student, welcome to a massive month. And this month, first topic, the first order of business is matrices. Matrices, it's both paper one and paper two. It's compulsory. By that, I mean, whether you like it or not, mm -hmm. to answer this question, you're going to answer it. Now, in this particular topic, we're going to cover eight things. Come here. So, number one, we're going to look at the definition of a matrix. Two, we're going to look at the order of a matrix. How do you find the order of a matrix? Number three, we're going to look at the transpose matrix. Number four, we're going to look at how do we add and subtract matrices. Number five, we're going to look at how do we multiply matrices. Yeah? Six, we're going to look at determinant. Seven, we're going to look at inverse. Then eight, we're going to end this lovely topic with the 2022 internal exam question, paper two. I want to show you how to answer an exam question. So, let's start with number one, definition. What is a matrix? A matrix is a rectangular arrangement or array. So you can use array or arrangement of numbers. A matrix is a rectangular, rectangular arrangement of numbers. Yeah, so that's the definition. A matrix is a rectangular arrangement of numbers. Numbers in the same horizontal, horizontal is so, horizontal. Numbers in the same horizontal line form a row, so row. And numbers in the same vertical, vertical DAE, vertical line form a what? A column. So let's say we have matrix a, B, C, D. This is our matrix. I'm saying this is matrix. Let's say this is matrix X. How many rows do you see? So A, B, E. A, B is known as your row. C, D is also known as your row. Now, what's the column? We've said vertical. So A, C is a column. And also B, D is a what? Column. So that's the definition. And uh, let's move on to now the order of a matrix. Distinction student, we move on to <clears throat> component two, your subtopic, order of a matrix. So the number of rows of a matrix followed by the number of columns gives you the order of the matrix. So it's row and column. So example, find the order of, we have five, negative one, two, two. So the first thing you need to ask yourself is how many rows do you see? There are two. We have this one and that one. So this is a 2 by, how many columns? 2. 1, 2. So 2 by 2. We move on. Easy as that. Right? In this question, we have 2 and 5. How many rows are here? So we have 1, 2. So we have 2 rows. How many columns? 1. Easy. You start with the row, end with the column. We have this component. How many rows are here? There are two. There's one, and there's two. Isn't it? So, two. By how many columns? Three. One, two, three. So, three. So, that's how you find the order <coughs> of a matrix. Easy as that. We go to transpose. Yeah, transpose. This is paper one. So, the transpose of any matrix, if it's Singular matrix, if there are more than two, it's matrices. Yeah, not by the possible. Why are matrices? But in Yeah, don't do that. So the transpose of any matrix A denoted by A to the power T, power T, it shows that it's transpose. Is the matrix obtained by interchanging the rows and columns. So you interchange. So check. If A is equal to this, 7, 2, 9, 4, 1, 5. So here, you see this one, huh? This one is your what? Is your row. So this 7 to 9 is your row. When you transpose it, it's going to become a column. It's going to be 7 to 9. When you transpose it. So the, in simple terms, you're changing a row to become a column. Check this, 415. It's a what? A row. Transpose it, comes a column. 415. Easy, easy, easy. This one, B, 5, 4. When we transpose matrix B, this is a row. I'm going to change this row to become a column. So it will be just 5 and 4. 
Easy, friends. Easy. This is one mark, paper one. Yeah? Let's now move on to addition and subtraction. 